we're here at the Heidelop uh, Bully Prevention. I'm standing here with the famous Toronto Argonaut, Michael Pinball Clemens. Thank you, Michael, for your time. Well, thank you so much for having me. I do appreciate it. And, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, he's, uh, he, he's sitting down and I'm standing and, and he's still almost as tall as I am. <laughs> well, you got an amazing story. I know that your mother was 18 years old, mm -hmm. old when you were born. Yeah. Uh, you were raised in public housing. So, I mean, one thing about it is that sports has always been important to you. Uh, at the same time, it's about the children because you have the Michael Pinball Clemens. It's now called the Pinball Clemens. You want to talk a little bit about all that? Well, I think um, the truth is my mom deserves a lot of this credit. Uh, she was 18 years old, but she didn't make excuses. Um, she was um, the most incredible parent I believe any child could have. She stressed education. Yes, I could play football, and she supported me in all of uh, our, my sports. Uh, she missed one football game from the time I was 8 years old to the time I was 18 years old, and that's because she had a church meeting. But still, the focus was education in our house. I couldn't, um, ha if, I, if I had a C, I couldn't play sport. And I tell my, my kids that a C is not this thing that you call a C today. A C was a 75 to an 84. So all my marks had to be 85 or above in order to play sport. And, um, and it wasn't because she was mean, it was because she believed in me. And believed in me even more than myself. And, and that was really, I believe, the lifeblood that helped to carry me uh, through the different successes that I've had in life. Your number, number 31, you played 12 years for the Toronto Argonauts. Your number 31 has been only one number out of four numbers for the Toronto Argonauts have retired. Um, really special honor. Uh, I tell you though, in, in our game, there are 12 people on the field, right? I'm only one of them. So in every play that I ran, there were 11 other guys working. So I can really only take credit for about eight and a half percent of the work, right? And, and so uh, when you're out there, there's so many guys who are working for you. When you when you receive something, an honor like that to have your jersey retired, is because you were in the right place at the right time. You were you were with guys that cared about you, that cared about their profession, uh, that cared about excelling and doing well. If they didn't care about those things, there's no way I could have had success. And so uh, we point out one person, but it's a representation of a greater era, a, a greater expertise, a greater greater excellence, uh, so much sacrifice given on the off season, not just during the season, but in the off season, not just on the field, but in the classroom. All of those things that happen apart from me, the greatest amount of that hours and the great amount of that input came outside of me. And I'm so grateful for all of my teammates, my coaches, all those in the front office and the back office, uh, all of those people are part of that recognition. You have a non-profit foundation, it's called, it used to be called Michael Pinball Clemens, now it's called the Pinball Foundation. I know it's extremely important about the children, there's thousands of children right now on, here at this rally right now. You want to talk about the, the important work that you're doing with your foundation too? Well, I, I, the focus of our foundation is, as I say, my mom is probably more important for this than I am. Again, we base it on education because education gives you a hand up, not a hand out. Uh, sport is important and gets us involved and engaged. We learn so much through sport and, and, uh, and we certainly don't neglect that, right? But education is what we um, what we really promote because we believe that that's uh, the real difference maker and um We've uh, been very fortunate to partner with uh, Free the Children, now called we.org, and we've built over 250 classrooms in developing countries. We've also, we've also built uh, a few orphanages, uh, water projects, amongst other things, and it's, it's really been um, a great opportunity. We've, we've uh, gotten rid of the Michael uh, from, from uh, call it the Pinball Clemens Foundation because we wanted less of me and more of them. The reality is, is we've gotten this far because of, of, of all the support that we've gotten uh, from Canadians right across the country. And so we're so grateful for that. And we're really now trying to bring our work back to our local community. So we're increasing our focus. Uh, we probably had an 80-20 international to, to local. Uh, we're trying to bring that back to 50-50 focus in um, uh, international and local. So bringing a lot more focus back to our, our own communities. And um, we have a really some really cool programs that we're real, really proud of uh, a couple of the programs. Of kids have uh, gone through the educational stream, but have gotten scholarships to play sport because of the educational portion of it um, uh, down in the U.S. Uh, so we got three guys that are on basketball scholarships from one of the programs in another program. 
Uh, we've uh, just gotten a couple of young people who who really, you know, uh, didn't didn't know which way they were going to go, and they're they're gainfully employed. Uh, uh, one young lady who's a fireball and and uh, was in foster care uh, is now uh, got a job uh, working at a law firm as a receptionist, and you should see her beam, see her glow. Those are the small stories that that um, that we hope to see more of now in our local community. Well, thank you so much for your time there, Michael. I know that you have to get back out to the rally. As I said, there's thousands of children right now screaming out on the other side and looking forward to hearing what you have to say to them. All right. Well, you know, um, this, this, this whole idea of football and sport is sacrifice. You gotta, if you take an off season, you'll have one. And then you got to do all the other things for your guys to make them be successful, right? Ultimately here, right, the greatest sacrifice has been given by you our men and women in uniform. We love you, we respect you, and we cannot give you enough credit and accommodation for all you do for us. So thank you so much.